So let's see how you can join and submit an assignment through GitHub Classroom. So the first step is your faculty might have given an invitation link for the GitHub Classroom along with the assignment. So accept that invitation link in the sense that take that link, go to your browser and follow the link and you will be taken to the GitHub Classroom assignment page. From there, follow the instructions on the screen. The next step is once you are all done with the initial things, you will be given a repository link and just click on the repository link and you will be taken to the repository page. Next, you have to decide whether you have to clone your repository to your local machine or you have to create a branch for the repository. So it depends on type of assignment and the evaluation criteria your faculty is using. Read the instructions on the assignment page once you are in the repository and decide whether you have to clone or you have to branch. Because usually if your assignment evaluation criteria is based on a pull request, you may need to do a branch instead of a clone. Once you have cloned or branched and you are on your GitHub repository, either on the browser or on your local machine, do the assignment as the faculty has put. It might involve creating new files, adding code or content or modifying the existing files. Do that and move to the next step. That is you have to commit your changes to your local repository and then you have to push the changes to the remote repository on GitHub. Alternatively, if you are on the GitHub web page or on your GitHub account and doing the modification or assignment on the GitHub page itself, you need not actually push your changes. You just need to commit it because you are actually working on your remote repository. Okay. So these are the five steps that you need to do in order to enroll for a GitHub classroom assignment and submit it. Let's see how we can take up an assignment in GitHub classroom uh, and uh, let's try out it in GitHub itself. That is without cloning or branching a repository on our local system. We will branch a repository from GitHub itself. In that way, we will avoid a push. We will just submit the assignment to a simple commit. Let's see that. So your faculty or instructor might have enrolled you in a GitHub classroom and might have shared such a link. So what you have to do first is just copy that link, which is an invite link. Then uh, you should have your GitHub account signed in and just open another tab, paste this link and go to that link. So essentially when you go to that link, you will be asked whether you are interested in joining the classroom and your faculty might have put a roster of students. So from the roster, you have to pick out your name. Once you select your name, it will ask you whether your GitHub account could be connected with that name in the roster. So once you give the permission, right? It will actually make a repository for you to do the assignment. Then you just refresh the page so that you can just go to the repository directly by clicking on the link. So this repository will be already active. So the first thing is you have to just read through the instructions that your faculty might have given. So in that the readme file, just read through the content. So if you read through, you, you can just see that it's all about Git and GitHub. So it's just a beginner assignment. And then you have to just see what are the instructions given by your faculty or instructor regarding the submission of assignment. So if you see here, you have to open a pull request to show that you have completed your assignment. So basically, you need to create a branch. So from where can you create a branch? So there will be a section shown as branches. You have to click on that. Then you select new branch. The branch name may be, I will give it as uh, patch to uh, branch sources main. Then create the branch. So I'll just click on that branch. Now I have to do some modifications and I have to just post it to the faculty through a uh, pull request so that he may merge it to his, uh, to his or her main branch. So I'll just add a new file, submission, something like that. And I'll just type something. Then I have an option to commit directly. So I'll just give committing and putting requests, something like that. Okay. I have already created a branch, right? So I can commit directly to that newly created branch. What I have done is committed to this branch. Now what I can do is I can uh, put a pull request. So go to the pull request tab. There I have an option for a new pull request. So I'm clicking on that. So what I do is I have to compare and review if there is any differences. So I'm comparing between base and patch. 
right? So in patch two, which I just created now, I created a new file and added some content, right? So that's shown here. So I'm creating create a uh, new pull request. So I'm I can just write an optional comment. So something like that I can write. Then I can click and just see whether it goes. So my pull request is uh, submitted to the faculty. So here there is an option uh, to merge the pull request uh, with the main, but actually I will leave it to the faculty because in his or her login, this pull request has to appear. Then only my submission will be registered. So I'll just leave it like this, right? My pull request is registered and shown as pull request is remaining. That is pull request one is pending committing and putting a request. So I have opened my pull request. So that's still there. Now let's see what happens when faculty or the instructor sees my pull request and approves that. So this is the student's repository. So the student is just going through the particular repository and he or she now sees that the pull request uh, that was placed, it is actually closed, All right? So if the student clicks on the pull request, status is shown as approved that pull request was approved and the faculty has left a comment so that the student can see what was the comment left by the faculty so the faculty has returned so the contribution and the faculty has approved the particular submission so that's how you will actually submit an assignment where the pull request was required from the student side